everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you are here to join me today. I am a little bit nervous about today's vid because I've been thinking about this idea for a little while and I just wasn't sure how I was going to execute it and how it's going to come out, but I'm just going to do it and fingers crossed it turns out okay once I put all the pieces together. As the title shows, today I want to talk to you about my work capsule wardrobe. Now the whole idea of a capsule wardrobe has been around now for quite a while I would say. It had this kind of peak, it was really popular for a while, and I think it's really settled in into those whom it works for and those who've tried it and be like, uh uh, not my thing. And I used to be part of that camp. Totally. I had a lot of different varieties of clothes and I like the mixing and matching. Although I will say kind of what spurred on this work cap to wardrobe idea kind of came a little bit out of this COVID quarantine where I was just wearing the same thing over and over again. I've always been one who had outside clothes inside clothes and then pajamas. I talk about this sometimes that my clothes fall into one of three categories. I change my clothes when I get home so my work clothes are often just the ones I wear you know, outside or out to work. Sometimes they're interchangeable. Recently, I decided to try out the idea of just doing a very small capsule work wardrobe. So I picked out a couple of, you know, top and bottom separate pieces and put it in one section of my closet and that was the work section. Some of these clothes could also be worn outside, you know, on the weekends or out of work, but I just kind of dedicated that section to work and I thought let's give it a month, let's see how it goes. So I wore six pieces except shoes and outerwear and any like accessories but six core pieces for pretty much all of September and I am now here to talk to you about it. So let me run you through the six items I end up choosing and then I'll kick it over to voiceover Jerry who will show you and talk you through all of the outfit combinations. All right, let me talk you through all the separate items that I had chosen. I will say my intros for the future will not be so long. I just realized I talked a lot just to explain to you what this whole idea was about. Anyway, separates. I chose three tops and three bottoms for a mix and match um, type of situation, not inclusive of shoes and not inclusive of jackets or coats or raincoats or accessories. These are just my six core items. A lot of these are actually repeats of the same style, but I've picked, you know, two different colors just to give me some color variety. Let's start with tops. My first top is one from Halogen by Nordstrom in their petite sizing. I was really drawn to this top because at the time, not a lot of places did petites and when Nordies first opened up, I was all over it. Even though our selection was pretty small and pretty slim, I was kind of drawn to this top and thought it was something different. This is a polyester shell with a back loop opening. There's no zippers. You can get on over your head and button yourself up nice and easy. The detailing for this is definitely that armpit ruffle. It feels a little bit, I don't know. I, I couldn't decide if I loved it or hated it, but I didn't mind it, so I got it. And I didn't actually wear it that much because it always felt really dressy. So I threw it into the work wardrobe capsule and I think it actually worked really well. That is my only pattern top for September. The next two tops are actually exactly the same, just in two different colorways. I like to see this as my t-shirts, but a little dressier. In September, it was still fairly warm and many days I could have gone without any toppers or cardigans or coats and just have like a simple top and be totally okay in terms of temperature regulation. So I chose two of these t-shirts. I like to call them like a flutter sleeve t-shirt. The whole sleeve is actually a separate um, piece and it has that ruffly look and extends into the bodice. I find it generally pretty flattering and I actually have it in three colors. I pulled the navy and the coral to be part of my topper collection. Now let's talk bottoms. I chose three bottoms like I mentioned and two of them are wide leg and one is a skinny leg just for variety and to give me more options in my shoes which in the end was a really smart idea. Let's talk about uh, the two wide leg first. They're both from Uniqlo again. They're just a great piece for workwear, you guys. And these, I will say my only kind of mm, with them is that they are still a bit too long for me. I went with the extra small. In terms of my measurements, I probably would have done the small 
instead of the extra small but the extra small though is a little shorter if you look at their sizing chart um, extra small and xx small are for people about 5'3 and from small and beyond the leg length is actually longer so because i'm petite i kind of try to squeeze myself in extra small it does kind of work i wish it had belt loop so i can hike it up low with the belt since these pants are already high-waisted so on me they are uber high-waisted but I love how they're so flowy and just offer me a lot of ease of movement. So I chose it in both the brown and also the forest green, which I love that forest green, so pretty. Next, I did choose a skinny pant just for some options and that is my only patterned pant. It is a polka dot navy pant from Old Navy and I believe they're calling it a high-waisted super skinny pant. It's really like a little pixie pant. It's got an invisible zipper on the side. Um, it's got no waistband but it does have a little bit of elastic. It is very much a skinny leg so you gotta kind of stretch it out and it's definitely not for days that you need to do a lot of like big movements. So those are my six core items i'm going to kick it over to voiceover jerry who will talk you through um the different outfit combinations and really which ones worked out and which ones didn't quite work out i'll come back at the end and let you know kind of what changes i would make to my next capsule wardrobe for work and um, what things i was really missing Let's talk about some outfits. This first one is a pairing of my coral shirt and my pixie pants. You'll notice I'm wearing my platform Keds. I actually didn't buy these until later on into the month, but I've realized I really needed them and they kind of go well with the pixie pants now that I'm seeing it together like this. I really like this outfit. It's kind of standard teacher outfit, if you will, with you know the skinny pants, but I think the shirt makes it look really interesting. It's still fun, kind of summery, still has that you know warm weather vibe, and I did pair it with a necklace just to snazz things up a little. With the length of this shirt, I do usually leave it untucked if I'm wearing just the normal rise kind of pants, and I also didn't love the way the pixie pant looked just bare. Now this outfit does look a little dressier in my opinion and it's completely because of the pants. Notice that these pants are super high rise on me and I decide to tuck in the shirt. This shirt is thin enough in material that I can just tuck it in and still have a blouse over a little bit. It is quite of a, a trouser style and a wide leg. I am wearing my Keds here because the pants are still a smidge too long even though I went with the extra small which is supposed to be a little shorter. I think it works okay. The shoes are probably a bit bright for this particular pairing. And oh, side note, squat test. Uh, all of my outfits need to pass the squat test unless it's like a day I don't see any children and I'm just in meetings all day. Speaking of which, I think I did actually wear this to a meeting. Here, I swapped out my accessories for something that is probably more office appropriate if you plan on wearing something like this in this combination. The flutter sleeve again makes it, makes it look a little dressier and I paired it with a pair of nude low heel pumps and a tote bag which is in green. I think the color combo, even though nothing is exactly the same, all kind of goes well together and looks quite pleasant. Don't be afraid to wear a light color shoe with a dark pant as long as it's not like super white like I did with the cats. That probably was a bit too much. Um, I really like the combination of this. If I worked in an office sitting down all day, this is likely what I would wear for the summertime. Okay, this outfit. This outfit I kind of like with the kids and then with a the bright scarf. So we've got dark on dark and then you have a pop with the scarf and a pop of the white with the platform sneakers. 
if I did not have the scarf, it probably would not appeal to me quite as much. Just a lot of darkness all around. So you want to do like a necklace, something a little bigger. Um, I chose a scarf because I really like that pink leopard print situation that's happening. And the scarf also has a bit of navy as well. Side note, these trousers, the pockets are a bit funky because they are just... They're a smidge small, not terribly so. Um, I never really use the pockets. I just put my hands in there because I don't know what to do with them while I'm posing for this video clip. But altogether, I actually really like this outfit too. Side note, if you're noticing that my hair looks a bit different in these clips, it's because I got a haircut since I filmed the intro. Okay, this outfit. I am really digging this color combo. I showed you a little fluttering of the sleeves. Love these sleeves. They don't fit well under a cardigan per se because they're just a bit voluminous, but otherwise, great. Um, these pair of shoes are really nice. These were what I had started wearing before I got the Kez and realized my pants were still a bit too long, so I went with the platform. But I do like them. These are Sorrel's and they are actually waterproof slip-on sneakers. There were a couple of days where it did actually rain. Now, if it was a rainy, rainy day, I wouldn't wear these long pants. They just don't work out well. I would wear skinnies. But the shoes got me through, you know, a little bit of wet and it was fine. Here I'm pairing it with a purse just to show you how you might take it to the casual office. Let's go a little bit dressy again. This blouse is super dressy. I'm still not sure if I'm feeling this uh, armpit ruffle, but I wore it. It's fine. This whole outfit is very polyester, and I don't know how I feel about that. It didn't make me super sweaty or anything, but it was very staticky, and I didn't love that part about it. I do like the pairing with the white shoe. Um, I think it really echoes the top, and it works. Side note, the top has that back loop button thing and sometimes I forget to button it up. So here we go. I think this is a great kind of still keeps you cool enough outfit on top without feeling like I'm super exposed. I don't feel terribly comfortable wearing bare arms at work. It depends on the top. This one seems okay because the neckline is quite high. I didn't pair with any particular necklace or accessories because there is already, already a lot going on up top. This outfit, I kind of sort of love with this necklace in particular. Again, if I was really at work, I would not necessarily wear the necklace. I have worn it. It just gets in the way when it's tangled up with your keys because I wear my keys on my neck as well with my like, you know, all my other stuff. I do really like this color pairing. I'm not sure if you're able to tell, but I wore a pair of suede um, chunky heel pumps just for the look, not that I wore to work. I think I wore these heels once and then decided it was not a bright idea. This is a very kind of darker tonal outfit without being all black or anything like that. If I've got a day where I just need to, I don't know, feel a bit more serious, I will tend to wear darker colors. Here I am pairing it with a bag. Hello, the pants and the bag go really well together and I love that. Even the leather handles, you know, go really well with the navy blue and the blue and the shoes and the pants and the bag. Looking at this right now, I am really feeling this outfit. And again, if I was working um, in a more of a, an office situation, a little bit dressier, this is totally something I would wear just probably I don't know, would I wear a different necklace? No, I would stick exactly to what I'm wearing right now. I like it. Okay, this is the outfit I filmed. Blue on blue. I love wearing navy, if you can't tell. But um, the camera was not rolling when I was doing all my posing. So no posing outfit, but here are the two items I also wore together quite often. This outfit rocks. I think the colors happening just look really good. Actually, did I say that about every single outfit? Probably. I probably did. Um, you let me know which one is your favorite, but I like the way that the tone's happening over here. When you look at this top, even though it looks super tropical, I think it pulls in, you know, the mauve taupey colored purse really well. The brown pants kind of make it look a bit more I would say conservative, but just a bit more grounded, if you will. And I think I'm also wearing the same blue um, suede block heeled pumps in that navy color. The trim of the top is actually a navy blue with the ruffle, so that really echoes the shoes as well and helps to tie everything together. Now, by this 
point of filming these clips, I was getting pretty tired of changing outfits. Um, so let's get out of here and talk to real-time Jerry again. In retrospect, I would say I did not account for those couple of days in September where it did rain and then I couldn't get my shoe situation to go with the rest of my outfits. Those Uniqlo wide leg pants were still just a smidge too long. I'm hesitant to hem them shorter as there will be times I want to wear them dressier with a heel and if I shorten them then it will look too short to go with a dressy heel so I'm still in this conundrum of whether to shorten them or not shorten them. What really saved the day for me though are those Ked triple up platform sneakers that I ended up purchasing kind of exclusively for those pants but I'm sure I will wear with loads of other things as well. The Ked sneakers gave me just enough height to pretend that it's a high heel without having to be on the pitch. I realized after trying it once or twice that wearing heels to work all day just does not work for my work lifestyle and just the way I want to feel even though I do love my shoes and my high heels so so much just not really for work. And then I needed to wear my Blondo waterproof boots for the days where it did actually rain once or twice um, and those pants just didn't work out. But I was really glad I got the pixie pants into the mix because those can go if I really needed to with the boots. Moving into October, I'm just in the process of choosing my separates and we are really getting to the wet season. So the next episode you see will definitely contain a lot of more wet and rain appropriate combinations and maybe even a few sweaters. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you really enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't, hit notifications if you want to keep in the loop of everything and as always I'm pretty much always on social media so if you want to hop on over there to stay engaged and connect with me I'm always happy to see you. Until next time take good care of yourselves and I will see you very soon. Bye.